Yeah, there certainly was a lot of back and forth over whether this was the right choice for the city right now. Some of the council members who voted no said that they were concerned that someone who was not an elected official would be making these choices. Another city council member was concerned that it could lead to sites becoming too concentrated in certain districts. Still, the measure passed. Sacramento's homeless and how to get more of them into safe spaces was the focus of a specially called city council meeting Tuesday. We need heroic efforts from everybody here. For hours, city leaders discussed issues related to homelessness, including who can and who should have the power to designate safe ground sites. The last item on the agenda was brought forward by the mayor, which would allow the city manager to designate sites without the city council's approval. The success of this will be dependent on him finding the intersection between moving fast and making sure that there is some form of geographic diversity. Mark Marin is on the board of Safe Ground Sacramento, an advocacy group for the homeless, and said he supported the change. Let's get some sites up, and these sites, very important, they should be close to where people presently are situated, presently are living. Ultimately, the city council voted five to four, with four city council members voting no. Motion passes. We caught up with District 2 Council Member Sean Willowie, who cast one of those no votes at his district's National Night Out event following the meeting. So it's a very complex uh, issue, but I think we made some headways today. Willowie says that while he voted no, he has confidence in the city manager but says he hopes the sites are distributed equitably throughout the city. I wasn't given a clear direction to make sure there's equity there uh, for, you know, when it comes to this topic. And I was very, I was not comfortable with, from what I heard, and that's why I voted no. The mayor says he hopes the change will expedite getting sites for the homeless up and running, adding he hopes to see that happen in a matter of weeks. So the next step really is for the city manager to get with his team and to identify sites that might work. The mayor says that he hopes to see proposed sites in each of the districts within the city. However, that is not a requirement under this new proposal. In Sacramento, Leanne Denier, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, always controversial, but important. Leanne, thank you.